Hello, this is Chris from Train by Techs. Today, I'm going to show you a cool little feature of the PicoScope software. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to change your trace colors and your background color um, to really anything you want to, to please your eye. Um, what's great about the PicoScope is you can change all pretty much any setting you want to make it work for you. Um, so what we're going to start with is we're going to go over here to the Tools menu. I'm going to go over here to Preferences. All right, well, over here we're going to select colors. All right, and you can see you can pick the channel colors, different color for your masks, which we've done a video on before, um, different miscellaneous things. You got your grid lines, your background, your triggers, your access, your rulers, phase rulers, anything you want to change here. Um, today we're going to stick to pretty much the basics. And we're gonna really just do your channel colors and your background, maybe some grid lines, and maybe we'll mess with some thickness of your channel lines and stuff like that. Let's get started. All right, so let's say maybe you had, for your entire career, you've had a Snap-on lab scope, and that's a little easier for you to identify. Maybe that's easier on your eyes. Um, you can emulate that if you want. So let's try that, okay? We'll start with uh, channel A. Channel A is generally yellow. So we'll pick that, hit the apply button to see what that looks like. We got a nice yellow trace right here. Channel B is usually green. We're gonna go lime here. It's a nice, sexy lime green. Channel C is generally blue. Hit apply again. Got a nice real blue trace here. Channel D is red, so we'll go right over here to red. Hit apply. You can still kind of see it's a little tough to see against this white background. So let's change that. Let's go over here to miscellaneous where we saw background before. All right. And see your background is white. So let's change that to black. Let's hit apply. And look at that. We have a nice black background, but you can still kind of see that your grid lines are a weird kind of blue. Let's make them pop a little bit. So we'll choose grid lines. Make them white. Hit apply, all of a sudden, boom, they're white. Now, if you want, uh, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but like I said, you can change pretty much anything. If you want to emulate a uh, cheaper scope, you can change your line thickness here for all your channels. So let's go to a two point. Let's just see what that looks like. And makes them a little thicker, a little easier to see, I guess. Personally, for me, I like to have the lines as thin as possible so I can see as much detail. So we're gonna go over there. Let's just go see what this what this looks like full screen. Looks pretty good. Now for comparison, I actually have Shopstream loaded up over here. Let's just go see what it looks like. Not that bad. Let's go over here. Looks pretty good, I think. All right, and uh, if you do get too far out of it and it's a little crazy and you wanna go back to normal, it's it's easy enough. You go right over here to the tools menu. Go right down here to Preferences. Wait for that to load, go back to Colors. And if you ever get worried and it's too insane, just reset everything to default. Hit Apply, and you're back to normal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have yourself a great day.